<clears throat> All right, boys and girls, let's get ready for math lesson 1.10. Okay, the materials you're going to need for this lesson include worksheets, pages 21 to 24, a pencil, your list for the days of the week, your list for the months of the year, and um, you might want your red and yellow counters. Okay. Our standard says that the student will use addition and subtraction within 20 to solve word problems that involve adding to taking from, putting together, taking apart, and you're going to be having unknowns in all the positions in each of the two add-ins or in the sum of the problem. So um, we'll use pictures, we'll use objects, we'll draw, we'll figure out different ways to solve word problems. That's what we're going to work on today is some word problems because when you get to be an adult, that's the kind of problems you deal with. That you don't, as an adult, you don't sit down and just work a bunch of math problems on the page. Those are real world problems. We're still trying to focus on how do I add within 10. Our problem of the day, Judy went to the store. After looking at everything, she decided to buy, to buy a blue barrette, that's a tongue twister, for five cents and a comb for four cents. How much did Judy spend in all? All right, well, she bought a blue barrette for five cents plus she bought the comb for four cents how much did Judy spend in all? All right, so we're going to count. And this time we don't have five hair bows or, and four combs. We're going to just count the numbers. So we're going to say five plus four. We can use our fingers. Five plus four. And then we count. Now, I know that I've got five fingers on a hand. So I don't have to do one, two, three, four, five. I can just say five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But since I know I got five fingers, I can just say that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five plus four is nine. So the sum that tells how much money she spent was nine cents. Nine cents. And there's another way we can write that. We can say nine, and then you put a C with a straight line through it. That means cents. All right? Those are the kinds of problems you have as an adult. That's called a word problem. It's not just two numbers. 8 plus 2, or 6 plus 1, or 5 plus 4. You, it comes in the form of a story, and you got to figure it out. What's the answer? How do I solve my problem? Okay, let's do days of the week and months of the year. How many days are in a week? Get ready. Yes, 7. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Read them with me. Get ready. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those are days of the week. How many months of the year do we have? Let's count. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now let's read months of the year. Get ready. January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. There are 12 months of the year. So when you have your birthday, and then you wait until you have your next birthday, that has been 12 months. Because 
it's the year from the time you have one birthday to the time you have the next birthday is one year or 12 months. All right, let's take a look at our calendar. The name of the month is at the top of the calendar. What's the name of this month? September, September, and we are just about finished with September. Okay, uh, I've already put up the calendar piece for today. So we can see what day of the week it is. Put your finger here and we'll just go straight up. And we see that today is the one that starts with M. What's that word? Monday. Monday. Today is Monday. Okay, so we're going to put Monday. Our month is September. So it's Monday, September 28th. 2020. All right, now let's look at what day of the week it is. We said it's Monday. Well, if today's Monday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. Started with a capital letter. If today is Monday, what will tomorrow be? Yes, Tuesday. Begin that word with a capital letter. Repeat after me. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. One more time. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Now, look. We're about to run out of days in September. Now, we're not going to go all the way down to here. September's over before that. September has 30 days. Most of the months either have 30 days or 31 days, except for February. Okay, so if September has 30 days, how many more days are we going to have in this month? So we say 28, and we'll put one here for 29, and one here for 30. So how many days are left in the month of September? Two. Well, then what's going to go right there? That's going to be... October. That's where we'll begin October. Okay, let's count. Let's count to 35. I want you to count with me. Get ready. You know what? They've been blue. Let's make them, I mean, they've been red. Let's make blue numbers this time. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Now, when we were just counting just now, we were counting forward. All right, now I want us to count backward. All right, we're going to start on 10, and we're going to count backwards. Okay, count with me. 10... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We counted backward. That means we started with a bigger number and we counted to smaller numbers. Okay, today we are going to talk about problem solving. Okay, we've got, um, looks like a bag of marbles and a toy giraffe. The question says, how much do these cost all together? Well, maybe you're in the store and you want to buy the marbles and the giraffe. You need to know if you have enough money to buy that. So what you need to do to find out 
is you need to add these two together. So let's go through the steps that we have to uh, follow when we solve a problem. The first thing you have to do is understand what is the problem? What do you know? The marbles cost five cents and the giraffe cost one cent. That's what we know. We can look up here and see that. How do we work out the problem? Well, I love drawing a picture. That's a good way to solve a problem. So we can draw pennies because one penny is worth one cent. So we need to draw five pennies to show how much the marbles cost. So they drew one, two, three, four, five. That's enough to buy the marbles. All right, now you draw one penny because it costs one penny to buy the giraffe. So here's the penny for the giraffe. Now how do we figure out how much it takes to buy the marbles and the giraffe? We count all of it, so let's do that. Count with me, don't stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. It costs six cents to buy the marbles and the giraffe. Okay, now, so we solve the problem here. First, you understand the problem. What is it that I know? How, what's my plan to solve the problem? And then you actually work it out, okay? Then you can check it. Is six cents right? Yes, because five plus one is six. That's how we know that we have the right answer. All right, this says use pennies to show each price. Draw the pennies and write how many there are in all. All right, if you want to buy the toy airplane and the whistle, how much does the toy airplane cost? Six cents. So you draw one, two, three, four, five, six for the airplane. How about the whistle? Two cents. One, two. Now, we can count to see how much money it costs to buy the airplane and the pe uh, whistle. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cents is how much money you need to buy the airplane and the whistle. All right, now let's go to the next page. We're going to do some more problem solving. We're gonna figure out what do we know, what do we need to know, and how do we, how do we work it out? Okay, how much will you spend if you buy the little ball and that looks like a boat, a toy boat. All right, the ball was four cents and the bow is three cents. That's what we know. That's how much it costs to buy each thing. But we want to buy both things. So what do we do? We add. All right, so we're gonna draw four cents. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna draw how much? The boat costs three cents, so we draw three pennies. One, two, three. Now we're going to do what? We're going to solve. We're going to find the answer or the sum. That's what it means to solve. It means to work it out. All right, here we go, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It costs seven cents to buy the ball and the boat. Okay, here's somebody's in the store and they want to buy the toy dinosaur for five cents and the dump truck for five cents. We know how much each one of those two things costs, so we're going to plan by making a picture. We're gonna make a picture. It costs five cents to buy the dinosaur. One, two, three, four, five. It costs five cents to buy the dump truck. One, two, three, four, five. How much does it cost to buy both things? Now we know what to do. We count all the pennies to see how much it costs. Do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
nine, ten. It costs ten cents to buy both toys. All right, this looks like a, another ball for four cents and a slinky for two cents. Those are the things we know. We know how much each thing costs. But what we want to know is how much does it cost to buy both of them. So we need to draw our picture to solve it. How many pennies do we need to buy the ball? One, two, three, four. How many pennies do we need to buy the slinky? Two. One, two. Now, how much does it take to get both toys? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. It costs six cents. Now, I want you to do this one by yourself. I'm going to talk you through it. But you can do it. The airplane costs three cents and the yo-yo costs five cents. All right, those are the things that we know. But how much will you spend if you buy both things? All right, first... You're going to draw how much? How many pennies? Draw how many pennies it takes to buy the airplane. Okay? Under that, you're going to draw how many pennies it takes to buy the yo-yo. How many is that? Draw that many pennies. Now, Count all of your pennies. That's, you're going to solve it. You're going to find the sum of three and five. What did you get? Put your answer right here. All right, now we've got a test coming up to go over that's going to cover all the lessons that we've had so far. So we're going to do a little bit of practice. It says add, write the sum. Two bowls plus one more bowl. Write the sum. Number two, we're going to write an addition sentence. Now remember, the symbols plus and equals goes in these two circles. How many redfish? And then a symbol that shows you're going to add. How many bluefish? The symbol that means is the same as. And then the number that tells... How many fish in all? Count the red ones and the blue ones. All right, right here, you're going to find the sum of four plus zero. Write it in the blank. Four plus one. Write the sum in the blank. And four plus two. Write the sum in the blank. All right. Now, the first thing it tells us to do right here is add. So you're going to add 3 plus 2. Write your answer. Two plus 1. Write your answer. 2 plus 3, write your answer. Now, we're not finished. Once you've done that, it says circle the two addition sentences that have the same sum. That means the same answer, the same sum. When you add those numbers, you get the same sum. Is it this one and this one? Is it this one and this one? Or this one and this one? You're going to circle the addition sentences, two of them, that have the same sum. One of them has a different sum. Don't circle it. All right, come on down to number nine. You're going to write this uh, addition sentence. Use the dots to help you. And write the sum. All right, now this is practicing vertical addition. Count the dots and put it in the first box. Count these dots and put it in the second box. Count all the dots and put it in the bottom box. That is vertical addition. A 
okay? Now we want to do some problem solving. And you know, we do problem of the day every day. And this is a whole lot like what we're doing every day when we work out a problem. I love making a picture to solve the problem. So that's what we're going to do here. How much does it cost to buy the dinosaur and the ball? Um, the dinosaur costs five cents. So draw five cents, five pennies. The ball costs four pennies. Draw that. Then count all of your pennies and write the sum on this line. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're almost done. This says review slash test, but this is review for us. Add. 2 plus 2. Write the sum. On number 2, you're going to write the addition sentence. This number, add, this number is the same as, and your sum. This page is just like what we just finished. Add 5 plus 0, write the sum. Add 5 plus 1, write the sum. Add 5 plus 2, write the sum. Alright, you're going to find the sum. Find the sum, find the sum. Once you find the sum for each of these, you're going to circle the two addition sentences that have the same sum. When you get down here, you're going to do um, a horizontal addition sentence, and then you're going to do a vertical addition sentence. At the bottom, you're going to buy a toy airplane and a ball. Draw your picture and find the sum. All right, boys and girls, I didn't wait for you to do those, but you can do that after we finish with this. We're going to summarize by saying, what does how many in all mean? What do we need to do? If we say how many in all, turn to your study buddy and tell them what, what that means you need to do. Did I hear that correctly? I heard somebody saying it means add. That's exactly what it means. Good job, boys and girls.